Okay. All right. Tiger, Charlie, congratulations on a week of getting it through. I know there was some pain involved, but you guys succeeded. You did really well. Just some thoughts on how fun it was. Yeah, it was an incredible week. Um, just to be able to play with Charlie and uh, to be able to experience it with again with the Thomases again for the basically the third straight year um, or second straight year. Uh, be able to have the you know Jenny and Mike and obviously uh, the, two, the two Joeys on our side. Um, we had just the most amazing time inside the ropes with each other. Uh, and Charlie and I, we, we played great yesterday, and today we were both like wonky penguins out there. So <laughs> um, it, was, it was all good, though. Charlie, how special was it for you? It was, it was great doing with Dad after um, working so hard to get here. For me, school as well, and him just the injury. And um, just being, being out there with, with a great atmosphere. And everyone just great around us. It was just awesome. Fantastic. We'll take a few questions, guys. Tiger, you mentioned a couple of things just mm-hmm. now. What stands out? Like, what do you enjoy most about this week? The, the bonding, the, what, by far. It's just being able to be out there and share uh, this with, with Charlie and for Joey to share it with his son as well. Um, I mean, Joey's been out here for, what, 35, 40 years, and then to be able to show um, his son what it feels like to be inside the ropes. Um, he was, you know, just in, in fantastic with Charlie the, all the three years that we've been able to play here. And, again, it, it's for us, it's sharing it with our own family. And uh, it just means so much to, to all of us. What's the best shot you did this week, Tiger? I can tell you it's a lot of my worst shots. <laughs> I mean, I, I really... I really didn't hit many good good ones. I had uh, maybe a couple couple good drives where I, I I could needle JT a little bit. So um, that that was basically it. You know, I I did not putt well uh, today, and yesterday was a little, a little scratchy. But uh, you can tell that uh, I need to obviously practice a little bit more and um, shake off some rust. What's that? No, that was a good one. Yes, that was that was good. Um, yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, the, the four iron yesterday on, on 14 was pretty good as well. Um, you know, it was. I got a few texts last night. Uh, gave me some some grief over 18. It was uh, basically me rolling the clock back a little bit and uh, hitting hitting one of the old ones. What did you What did you learn about each other's game? You? Oh, um, I feel like I already knew what he was capable of, and then yesterday. That's the best he's ever played in a while. And that kind of shocked me by a little bit. But that's, that's really it. Yeah, I, I, I used to be good. And so <laughs> so it was, it was, again, it was neat to roll back the clock for him to, to see what I was, you know, used to be capable of. Um, you know, I was giving some, some grief. To, to anyone who knows what I, I used to be able to do um, was, was Bones. And so, um, Bowen's got a, got a big kick out of that yesterday. Tiger, a year ago at this very tournament, your, your future, you even said it, mm-hmm. very much in doubt. You know, you, you really couldn't give an idea when you might be back. You gave the glimpses into hoping in the summer, obviously it was better. But how far have you come in a year, despite the, the recent setback? Yeah, how far I mean, have you come? A lot. You know, the, the first year I had ended up having, you know, back surgery. And last year I played with a broken leg. Um, so this year nothing was broken, but it was it was good that um, all the pieces are there again, all lined up. It's just my again the the, the planner fashion is no, no no fun, and now I get to truly um, recover and heal and, and, and progress forward on this because there are so many good things that I've, I've been able to do physically, um, be able to hit the golf ball and, and practice and basically do everything on a standstill. But I just haven't been able to, to get to point A to point B. So we're gonna. Obviously, work on that. Um, I think it's just getting used to it. The first year, first year was surprising, and then it just I knew what um, what to expect the next two years, and then I just kind of yeah I just knew knew what to expect. Um, it's a lot of, um, just 
staying in in your own mind and just kind of focusing on what you're doing and nothing else, just hole by hole. I mean, to, to add to that, um, the first year couldn't have been better for him to be able to participate at this level because of the COVID year. And so for him to be inside the ropes for the very first time during COVID, so we didn't have any fans out here. But it was the first time he got a chance to experience being inside the ropes at this level to see the, the legends of the game, you know, hit, hit golf balls and, you know, watch Gary Player, watch Lee Trevino out there hitting golf balls and to rewind the clock and, and see what I grew up with and I grew up watching. Um, he got to experience that without the, the fans, which was a, a great way for him to be introduced to, to this. And then last year it was more of an introduction and today and this weekend, here we are. Oh, no, 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 we're I have, done. I have, I have a question for him about Charlie. What is the background behind the Snoopy hat? Thank you. Um, Good question. Yeah. Well, it's the hat that, that is in my closet and fits the best. And that's all I can say about it. Great answer. One more question with Rex, and then we'll take you to the Tiger. Yeah. Well, it was a, a, a tough year, but also the, one of the more rewarding years I've had in a while. I've had a lot of setbacks over the last few years. So um, but to be able to have, I, I don't know, if, as I was alluding to this summer, I don't know if I ever get back to playing in St. Andrews in a, in a British Open, but to be able to experience that one, maybe one last time um, at this level was uh, very special to me. It was my favorite golf course in the whole world, and if that was it, that was it, um, to be able to... to possibly finish up my career there I, I don't know that's one of the reasons why I was kind of emotional because I don't know if I'll ever get, I'll, I'll play St. Andrews again I'll play open championships in the future but I don't know if I'll be around when it comes back there again All right, thank, you guys. Thank, you. thank you appreciate it thank you